The Great Lakes are beautiful but fierce. Ice cold water, waves that can take down the shoreline, and sometimes unpredictable storms. But one man is attempting to do something never done before paddleboard across all five lakes. His motivation is to prove that his disability will not keep him from his goals. Our Ren Clayton reports. When Mike Shorman was diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt syndrome in 2018, his heart sank. After I received the diagnosis, um, I, I stood in an ENT doctor's office with my dad, and I remember like I just had tears streaming down my face, and he said, your paddleboarding's done. You're never going to paddleboard again. Ramsey Hunt syndrome is a neurological condition that can cause permanent damage to one's vision, hearing, and muscles. For Shorman, the disease also affected the one thing he used every time he stepped onto a paddleboard, his balance. For me, when I turn my head from side to side or up and down, um, I get very dizzy. It's like a carousel inside my head. Um, and in the initial stages, when I was walking, I couldn't even walk in a straight line. I but Shorman was determined to not only paddleboard again, but become the first person with a disability to do it across all five of the Great Lakes. And, and I thought, okay, well, we can we can set out to do these crossings. I just have to make sure that I'm strong enough to be able to do five back-to-back -back all in one summer. After months of training, Shorman started his journey on Lake Erie. On May 29th, becoming the first person with a disability to accomplish the feat. An inspiring moment, but Shorman still had four other lakes to go. And then 10 days later, I set out to do Lake Huron, and it took me 28 hours and 22 minutes, um, which was brutal. All right, there he is, the night paddle. Now, Shorman will take on Lake Superior, a task he and his team are prepared for. We've got first aid trainers on the boat. We've got um, people who who know what my nutrition and my what my diet's going to be like. It's all part of a monumental journey, one he hopes can inspire people far beyond the Great Lakes. People with disabilities are capable of achieving things when people believe in them, and I hope it inspires kids to dream big. Ren Clayton, WCCO 4 News. That is inspiring, isn't it? Right now, Shorman's plan is to begin his Lake Superior attempt on Tuesday. He'll be starting in Wisconsin and ending in Minnesota. His message to the Great Lake before he gets started here, play nice with me, please.